Black History Month comes to a close, there was a presentation tonight in Archdale where people could learn more about the family and descendants of Thomas Lytle. He was an early Randolph County citizen and a plantation owner with a deep rooted history that a lot of people are still trying to understand today. WXI 12's Kara Peters spoke with some of his descendants and joins us now with this report. After the death of Thomas Lytle in 1794, 38 extended family members went on to be sold here in Randolph County. Tuesday night descendants had a chance to learn more about this history while looking ahead to the future. A room full of community members and some distant family members all here to learn more about Thomas Lytle. Lytle was a plantation owner that fathered seven children with an unknown enslaved black woman. Susan Cox is a descendant of Thomas's oldest son, Frank Lytle. You know, to know that this is this is history. Others like Wendy Funches are still learning more about her ties. I was, thought I was a descendant of Esther Lytle, but through new research that has come up in the last year, I'm actually not related to her, but I am, I am a DNA match to the to other descendants from this Lytle family. When Thomas Lytle died in 1794, his will called for Frank to be emancipated. However, for the rest of Frank's siblings, freedom did not come until 1816 when Lytle's wife died. This resulted in what would soon become the largest single sale of enslaved people in Randolph County's history. You have, I guess, a sense of guilt somehow, and you, you know, you think about the people who have had, who have not had um, the opportunities that I've had, you know, and we're from the same family. Over time, descendants of the Lytle family have done ancestry work and DNA testing. They even had a reunion last September in Sophia to meet one another. Monday's presentation was led by Kendra Lyons, who gave a breakdown of who Thomas Lytle was and his impact still present in Randolph County. They're still connecting cousins to cousins. DNA is helping with that, and they're going to, um, you know, try to find descendants of all of the enslaved individuals that were sold and those that stayed in the in the area. A chance to learn about the past while having the strength to move forward. Um, I am a true believer that we have to start the process of healing. So I think we can start having these conversations now to be able to bridge the gap. Descendants of the Lytle family tell me that their next reunion will be this year in Oregon. We will have a link to resources regarding the Lytle family all on our website at WXII12.com. In Randolph County, I'm Kara Peters for WXII 12 News.